Hello and welcome to the information video on the public services course here at Monmouth Comprehensive School 6th Form. My name is Mr Egan, I'm the course lead. I'd just like to spend a couple of minutes highlighting some of the main key features and points about the course. Currently there are almost 6 million people employed in the UK in the public services sectors. These range from our emergency, person, emergency services personnel to our armed forces to central and local government employees, to third sector or voluntary organisations. And of course, there's probably not been since the Second World War such an emphasis, focus, uh, reliance and appreciation for the work of the public services in this country as we all adapt um, our lives to living with a global pandemic. Historically, the course has attracted a variety of different and range of different students, from different backgrounds, different interests and passions, um, different combinations of courses studied alongside public services. What we would require, though, as a minimum requirement, are that students have a minimum of six level two um, qualifications or more, that they have English and or maths at GCSE level, that they have an interest around public services and current affairs and potentially they may be thinking of going on to studying courses related to public services and higher education or looking at careers within the public services sectors. As you can see there are a number of different skills, qualities and attributes that students develop and gain throughout the course, many of which are specific to public services but of course all of which are generic um, enough to be able to support whatever pathways students are thinking to progress onto, whether that is higher education or going into employment. Things like leadership skills, the ability to effectively plan and evaluate, the ability to organise, um, how to be an effective member of a team, and also to gain in confidence and independence as individuals. Qualification itself is equivalent in size to one A level and can be taken alongside a range of other A levels or the other vocational qualifications. The units that the course involves have got two mandatory units. One of those is an external unit, which means that it is examined and that will be studied in year 13. The other mandatory unit is an internal unit, which follows the same structure as the other units which means that it will be coursework and controlled task related, um, but will not be any further examinations. And that unit is studied in year 12. The other units are all optional units of which students have to achieve two. And what we do each year is to talk to students about their interests, their passions, and what units they might be interested in studying. And then to using that feedback, decide which two would be best for the group or the cohort. The two units which um, enhance practical skills, so skills for outdoor activities and expedition skills that could be chosen. And also then we've got two units which are linked to criminology and law that could also be chosen. The final unit that students could choose involves um, professional development in the Uniform Protective Services. So what we're very keen to do is look at those interests, look at those passions, look at the maybe um, ideas of careers that students might want to follow and therefore to make this a little bit more bespoke when we are looking at the optional units to choose. As I mentioned previously, the majority of units are assessed internally within the school. That means that they're marked by the staff that deliver the course in the sixth form. And these are marked against the standard BTEC criteria of pass, merit and distinction. Some of the assignments may contain practical elements and they may be assessed slightly differently. For example, it may include witness statements, it may include observation sheets together with any written material that is required. All of the assignments are completed in controlled tasks environments um, which are appropriate to the task set. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the units is externally assessed, which means that it will be completed as an examination in the school and then the marks and the work will be sent to the exam board. The 
the course can help students progress onto a variety of different higher education courses and the skills that we mentioned previously um, are certainly attractive to universities and employers. Um, also, what we found over the last couple of years is that many students have gone on to specific um, public services careers, specifically uniform public services, and have benefited from taking this course at level three. I hope that you find this information useful. Um, there is obviously more information about the course on the school website, and we do look um, forward to hopefully seeing you in September. Thank you. Take care.